That is going to put an end to things. Meanwhile, the bounty rune should go to 33 if he can run there in time. Yeah, he can. Kuro's not even going for it. So that's going to mean the bounty rune's going uh, three, actually, for the mud golems. Ooh, pretty big. And Mirana's the one who got the kill. So the position five, she actually buys a Wraith Band right away. Interestingly enough, at the plus five here. But that's all good. So I was going to say that... I would have liked to have seen NP as a 5 and maybe Mirana as a 3 instead, playing with the Tusk. That would have been a lot of kill threat on the Anti-Mage and the Crystal Maiden, in my opinion. And then that way, you can actually guarantee the Faces Void's uh, lane a little bit more. But maybe with this first blood from Fada and getting that Wraith Band, it might just be enough to be able to harass this Mars out of the lane. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering as well. And starting off with this uh, arrow landing onto the Mars is a really nice way for Fada to enter the lane, just gets him down yep. nice and early, doesn't have a salve only has one on GH, so either forcing that out early or just um, kind of putting the harassment onto mind control and giving Skidder a free time is exactly what they want to do. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Miracle's in some trouble. Frostbite comes out onto the Nature's Prophet. Milan is on top of Miracle, though. Does he have the flick? He does not. He's still level one. He's just going to get Huge. run down by Milan at 33. Massive kills, and they might not be done here. Moving forward onto Kuro. They have a lot of damage to output here with the right clicks. They're going under the tower for it. Kuro's going to turn around, get the Frostbite out onto Milan, but the right clicks come in from 33. He gets a double kill on this Nature's Prophet. Great oh. start to these side lanes from Mud Golems. Absolutely huge. If 33 goes back, gets an early power trez, this anti-mage is going to hate his life. And not only that, he's walking Dyer's back to the top tower. lane because he Seven had to TP, tower. right? And now, no. oh, that's no. it. This is, this is terrible. This is literally the worst possible situation. Like that level one play that occurred created such a big ripple effect. Like Mud Golems have already got a thousand gold lead now just because of this. Yeah, that is a bit problematic. Meanwhile, we got a roll in down in the bottom lane as Skitter connects onto GH. The, uh, sorry, the GH connects onto Skitter. And the Spear's gonna hold him still against that tree as well, but we'll be able to make it back under the tower. They don't have the damage to actually kill him off. Do they have a south between them? Doesn't look like they it. They do, so they do. Slow. Oh, they do, they do. Fada, Fada already saw them, yeah. It was good. This is uh, what, what they well. need to help Skitter out. And, you know, Enigma, they, they understand. They got to pressure up this Void. Especially if their AI is struggling the way he is right now. He's going for pulls. He's still level 1 on Miracle. I've never seen Miracle have, a, like, this bad of a lane. And it all started because of that level 1 play and having to TP onto the tier 1 tower. Yeah, this is the worst possible start oh, any carry has had in the tournament so far. I, I, I feel fairly safe in saying that as well. <laughs> Very rough. Six. And also, Kuro has spent a lot of mana as well on the level 1 engagement with its frostbites. Oof. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the dreamy scenarios, but, uh, you know, he's, he's going to start hitting some creeps miracle, and they won't be able to keep him down that long unless they can continue the aggression onto him. This might be easier said than done. Well, I'll even looking now onto Kuro. They want to try and drop the crystal maiden. Miracle coming in to deal a bit of damage. Meanwhile, they take down mind control into the bottom lane. Kuro goes down the top. Miracle has to jump himself away here, but they lose their crystal maiden. They don't get anything in response for it. Meanwhile, down at bottom, they do get the kill onto mind control on the Mars. So really, really strong side lanes coming out from Mud Golems. They are absolutely walking this laning phase currently. Is there better news in the middle lane? Maybe? Well, we're checking out the mid lane. Looks pretty even. It's as I expect. Magnus can't really have uh, a lot of pressure onto Zeus unless we walks down the down to the river in front of Magnus and he gets screwed into the tower. So, GH is gonna take the haste and try to kill this Supreme right now. Supreme and we are yeah, Supreme is pretty dead now. But yeah, there's a, there's a uh, spirit coming through. Okay, things liven up in the middle lane as Nigma may be able to get themselves a kill. I'm not entirely sure why the Magnus kind of stuck around there after seeing this Earth Spirit going for the other rune, but just kind of felt like he wanted to train with Zeus, realizing it come off better. If it's just the two of them not really predicting, and now he moves up to the top lane. GH with rotations onto Milan. They're not going to be able to save him. He is gone. Get two kills Big chained place. up with one haste rune from GH. That is value right there. Yeah, he realizes he can't make any plays bottom, goes for the rune, finds a haze, gets a kill, sees he can connect top for another kill. I mean, GH's rotations is how Nigma's gonna be able to get back into this game. Uh, we saw this in yesterday's series as well against OG. This man, he knows the angles. He knows where he needs to be to get those kills for his team. Radiant are scanning. 
got his roller skates on and he is skating around from lane to lane, getting as much done as possible. Oh, Meanwhile, we will hard jumps in. He's kind of given his life for this one. We is going to be able to bring him down with the Thunder Gods, but Milan comes through. He's going to be able to clean up the mid laner. That is very, very much worth it as they trade Fada for Weeha over by the bouncer in spot. Dream's like, well played. Thank you for kicking this, this out of the lane. Uh, also to mention, we did start with a kill. Maybe that's why he was having a little bit of an edge over the Magnus. Getting that free null right away. But, I mean, this is what Zeus does, right? He just goes to the lane. He spams the waves out. He gets a bottle. He has a bunch of regen with all his nulls. And he's just playing for XP anyway. You know what? He doesn't really win any lanes. He kind of just farms a lot. <laughs> Milan, Milan. Milan in the middle lane onto that observer and they're actually going pretty aggressive onto the Zeus. GH is coming in on this one and they've also got Kuro Ooh, nice kick. Party. Milan is going to get killed off as GH saves Wii. Gets him out with the kick and actually Supreme could be in some trouble. Does have a skewer, has an RP as well. Of course GH gets around the side but the arrow connecting from Fada. Can he bring him down? A few more right clicks will be needed from the Mirana. She can't do it. Kuro gets off the frostbite. They will finish the job onto Fada with the right clicks from the CM. 33 here as well as they have finished off GH. 33 Green Supreme got that kill at the very least. It did cost them an RP though, and they don't bring down the big boy. The Zeus is alive. That looked like Magnus was having a little bit of a tough time, but that arrow not only, you know, he had a chance to kill Wee, but also sacrificing himself for Supreme. And this is gonna allow them to take the tower now too. This is a big tower take from Mud Golems right now. Dyer's middle Six minutes. Has fallen. They just don't want to move in their Mars to try and defend that one. You know, he's he's not really got the levels or farm to be able to do anything against these heroes, so they're just going to have to let it go. And Mud Golems, can they keep hold of their advantage through the game is now becoming the question, because right now they are feeling very strong in this map. Damn, I'm really enjoying this Fata Marana right now. Like, even though he's just a position yeah. 5, he's playing like he's a core. Just running around the map and creating some kind of chaos. And uh, Skitter, he's going to be level 6 soon. We're probably going to see a play onto Mind Control. Oh, nice oh combination. God. Thunder <laughs> Gods gets Rad. destroyed. He gets destroyed. Yeah, I mean, just the chain lockdowns into the Thunder Gods. Yeah, too much damage for this place to be able to time walk away. Fada looking to try and remove the catapult bottom. There's a fight top, though, at the moment. GH is here again. He is indeed, and Milan is caught out. He's going to get finished off, and now the roll forward from GH. is quite connected up to 33. Doing some nice movements here, 33, but GH with the body blocks, gets a couple off. 33 will be able to get past him, and that means that the nature's pocket will survive. And actually dropping down the trees, we've got some more heroes coming in. No, actually cancelling that TP. They don't want to turn this into a fight up in the top lane. <laughs> yeah, he's got uh, 21 charges. Supreme just was trying to TP there. He's only has like, what, 500 HP? He's not really going to feel comfortable if he's laning with the Nature's Prophet. He needs to farm and cancel his team. Oh. We though. Is he going to get? Nope, he's good. It's all right, yeah, the shards won't quite connect. Milan, though, trying to make this happen maybe a bit too hard. Trying to fight in for the rune, but we's able to grab it. A skewer across his back. Nice, one. though. Once again, the oh. kick away. GH tries to get up the high ground. It's not enough to save the Zeus, but it is enough to save him. And they'll get themselves away on the Earth Spirit, but they still lose the Zeus. We, he needs to be way more careful than this. I know he wants to get for, he wants to go for the rune, but if it's just an illusion, maybe it's just better to just give it away. There's so much global presence for that Nature's Prophet. Magnus had like what one second left on the RP, so you had to have known like that RP was was up or was about to be up anyway. And uh, gotta say, you know, Miracle, even though he had a horrible first four minutes of the game, like one of the worst we've seen in the tournament so far, he's he's fine now. Like he, he is genuinely absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm I'm very surprised. I mean, uh, roll in onto Milan, controlling Mount Miracle coming in as well. He gets off the snowball onto Kuro in time, but there's no one coming to save him. Now leaving Milan for dead. Nice little shot coming out. One being popped as well. Supreme comes forward. The turnaround kill is actually going to happen. Now Supreme really wants to get in and find himself an RP onto someone here. Sees GH might be forced to pop it. Skewer comes through. Miracle jumping on top of 33, trying to bring him down. He can't get off the RP because Miracle actually brings him down with the mana void onto the Nature's Prophet. That was beautiful for Miracle. He gets him himself a double kill and now he is top of the net worth charts how does he do it every single time the two kills he got onto the tusk that kind of helped him a lot and because tusk has been roaming around uh anti mage has been able to pretty much <laughs> fight 2v1 against the nature's prophet so that kind of helped him out I, i'm only imagining like what it could have been if Nigma had complete free farm on minute one, right? Because <laughs> they weren't going to pressure him up uh, had he not needed to TP into the lane and lost all his HP. Miracle, he 
he is so strong right now. It was really awkward engagement from Mudgums too because the Faces Boy did TP bottom with his Chrono Guns and Mask of Madness, so he couldn't really join up with his team onto the top play. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit awkward. Not quite bringing the numbers to these engagements here for the Mud Golems, and that's really what cost them. What was a huge early game advantage is is, is now pretty much even. Enigma played it beautifully. Radiance bottom tower has what fallen. Have we by my the whole time, we have just kind of been farming good. creeps. You know, he's been getting involved in the engagements a little bit, but mostly he's just been hitting these creeps here in the jungle creeps, pushing out the mid lane. He's having the yeah. final time. Then. Definitely, and he had an insane amount of impact in that top engagement. His chain, his arc lightning was just hitting everything. Yeah. This spell is not a joke. It's 150 damage on a 1.6 second cooldown, and he just kept spamming that. Uh, that's how Mudgon just kind of got withered away. Certainly is. They're feeling the wrath of the Zeus currently. Now, Mudgolems, how do you want to see them playing right now? Do you want to see them making moves with Chrono Like this. No, what they're doing right now is exactly what they should have been doing. They got this mid tower up at 6 minutes. They got the faces void with the Mask of Madness. He's got the Chrono. They just need to be taking away the creep camps of Nygma. And this is what they're doing by going into the triangle. So Anti-Mage is going to feel a little bit awkward for the time being since he doesn't have his Battle Fury yet. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. As long as they do this, eventually Nima are going to probably run into Mud Golems and they should be able to get some kills Dyer's off of that. Top they see Miracle right now. They want him, but there's a ward. Yeah, very hard hero to bring down. Uh, meanwhile, I do want to just point out that Nigma actually went for a smoke gank up the top lane, but some great positioning from Fada on this high ground actually allowed her to pop the CM smoke. She just jumped herself away, keeping herself safe, but that allowed her to sell 33, you know. Get, get, out of the, get out of the top lane, buddy. Get out to the bottom lane. It's safer for you there. And that completely diffused Nick's rotation. And now it's rotation time for Mud Golems. They're going to go with Skitter, Milan, and Supreme, the old three-man smoke, like we're very used to seeing. As one shows on map down at bottom. Well, this is more like a four-man smoke, right? Because you have 33 who can just teleport into the fight. And this is Wrath of Nature as well. So they're just like letting Fada pretty much show around on some vision. So they think like Mud Golems are playing near Fada, but in reality, they're already top. Nice uh, smoke break from GH there. Yep. Even steals the rune in the process and just rolls himself away the moment he sees someone. The snowball's not able yep. to connect. So much well. space right now for uh, Miracle because of all this yeah. that's happening. Mud Golems have not been able to get a kill for like the last, what, three minutes now? Even though they've been looking for a fight. I mean, I, I imagine Supreme's gonna start to come alive when he gets his Blink Dagger. He's only 200 gold away, so should have it very shortly. And, and that's really when I want to see this side of Mud Golems go for a play. Ooh. Got this Blink. And, uh, makes not... That's the thing. I'm not so sure Blink is the best choice for Supreme. Uh, can't help but feel like he needs to just... Saber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go the Echo Saber, allow yourself to ult, pop to get her first. Nice arrow. Is that enough? Yeah, Aaron's gonna control him up. Is it enough to keep him alive though? He turns around, tries to go for the Kuro, but he's gonna get killed off by Kuro with the freezing field. They just about get enough to finish the job. Ah, oh, Skidder, I, I can't help but feel he could have gotten a time walk off there, but nevertheless, 33, he's gonna get speared up straight away. Kuro, mind control under the tower. They're looking for some revenge here on Mudgolans. They are just not gonna find it. Ah, uh, he cannot get the time walk off because of the uh, frostbite. Doesn't tell him, but if he chrono, he might have actually been able to live. There you go then. Kuro, meanwhile, in some trouble, being beaten down by Supreme. GH trying to find the angle. Of course he finds it, but Supreme blinks ahead, trying to get on top of him. The shark's gonna come out, maybe help out, but actually forces Supreme to have to RP him. They're still not doing enough damage. Spear's gonna come through as well. GH finally will fall, though. It costs them a lot, but they bring down the Earth Spirit, but still, it's only two support kills for the side of Mud Golems, and when Miracle's just kind of farming up, he's nearly hitting Radiant's his Battle Fury timing. You kind of need to be getting a bit more than like that. A good well, no matter, you know what the anti-mage game is like, right? Take us. For, for a lot of these professional players, they understand that when the enemy gets a battle fury on the anti-mage, that's actually the biggest, Wait. weakest point. Oh, and they get on top yeah. of him. Three heroes surrounding. Oh, he's yeah, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Tries yeah. to go for the TP away. It's admirable, but not nearly enough <laughs> to get him out of there. Nice rotation in from Mud Golems. Gets him the kill onto the Zeus. So you would think that this anti-mage, you know, it's like a clock or something that you're on and got battle for you, it's gonna farm fast. But in reality, Nigma can't really fight with this anti-mage. So all these engagements are just gonna be like four versus five. And Mudgolems are gonna take full advantage of that. Bye bye Milan in the middle lane, just gets kind of comboed up by a bunch of Nigma heroes come swarming in on him and get a revenge kill onto the tusk. 
I'm not good for more here. I mean, they do have an arena. Mind control. They're Mine forcing is the throwing it down, but he's going to grab that bounty nice and safely. He's a stack, but I'm not sure they're going to do much about it. I don't feel so good without the Tusk being alive. That tag team has been a big source of damage from Mud Golem. The Enigma right now, they just need to you know, survive for the next five minutes. In five minutes, Antimage will already have Mana style. That's when Enigma want to like be fighting 5v5, if ever. They want to fight 5v5. Uh, Mud Golems, like this five minutes, that's their window to actually play aggressively. If they don't, then I think they're just going to be kind of giving away their timing. Mind control, jumping onto Fada up in the top lane. Goodbye, Marana. Another kill going away off Nigma. Again, just slapping off these supports. And these kills, they might not seem like much, but to be honest, it is making a lot of space for the anti mage. It's causing Huge. Mud Golems to not be as five. And because of this, exactly. they're just not really making the plays. I mean, this Faceless Void hasn't even landed a Chrono yet, I don't think. Like, has he used one? I'm fairly sure he hasn't. Um, I don't think so either. <laughs> I think he really hasn't found the opportunity to do so. Uh, like you said, every time someone's dead, my is like, okay, just wait for this hero to be alive. And then, when, before that hero's alive, someone else dies. And you're like, oh, let's wait for this hero to be alive. And all of a sudden, anti mage has like, what? Two minutes of complete free fire because his team is creating these small pickups. What Muglins need to do is just group up as five, control some area. You can even threaten Roshan if you want to, and make Enigma come out and try to fight you. Meanwhile, they see Weeha. Supreme's going to run in. No hesitation on that RP. Getting on top of the Zeus, and they'll be able to bring him down together. They have more than enough damage between Milan and Supreme. A nice little kill onto the Zeus at mid. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Something, but if this does not lead into more fights from Nigma or you know power takes, I'm not so sure. It really matters. <laughs> Miracle, there's no pressure really on him right now, or on the rest of his team. That's not. That's not. I mean, that said though, there is a Magnus and a Faceless Void on the enemy team. So they're farming very quickly True. as well. That's why we're not seeing Miracle really pull ahead particularly. He will be able yeah. to farm faster than them, but those two are going to be hot on his heels. If Miracle does make any missteps, then he is going to get out of farm. Radiance Getter also went for the Midas this game. I, I like this a lot, that he goes for the Midas here. Because you know Nigma isn't really going to fight into you. He really has no threat of dying for the time being. What's that attack speed? Pretty good building, killing off anti mage if he ever catches him by himself. Radiance top tower is under attack. Plan that's a dream. Dyer's Catch Miracle by himself, but he's not gonna make that attack. easy at all. Game sense is too good. Won't be farming in anywhere where he can get caught out too easily. Here we go. A pressure tower coming take. in in the bottom lane. Yeah, they're they're starting to make some movements in. Put some pressure. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant NP. Oh, 33. Also going attack. for a Solar Crest now after the Glimmer Cave. I love this item build. A really good item against Anti Mage as well. Removing his armor. Out onto 33. He's okay though. Pack himself away. Meanwhile, they're actually going to be able to play with a snowball onto GA. They're going to try and bring him down. Chrono's make him down as well with a spear. Immediately heading into the face of Boy. He drops a Chrono and dies instantly. Skitter and Milan both taken out of the engagement. GH has dropped for this, but I mean, more than worth it. And now Supreme on the run from Miracle, who has a double damage, trying to hide, gets a blink away. Nice juice from Supreme to get him out of this one. But Fada might not be so lucky if Miracle can find it, but doesn't look like he can. The nighttime vision favors him around as she gets away. Meanwhile, 33 might not quite be so lucky as he gets caught cornered by the Zeus and by Mind Control. The Mars and the Zeus will bring him down, making it a very, very nice <laughs> well, trade for Nigma. And that was the Chrono fight as well. Oh. They had RP, they had Blink, they had everything they could have wanted, and it just didn't go their way. I, I hate to say this, Nomad, but that was a pretty bad Chrono. Um, you're throwing it onto a Crystal Maiden and possibly the Earth Spirit. He actually missed the Earth Spirit there, but you want to save that spell for the Zeus. <laughs> Right? Like, you want to be waiting for the Zeus to show himself where he bolts or lightning, then you get him, or maybe even a Mars, like a poor kill. But he got a bit too anxious, but he hasn't been able to use it the whole game. Adios Milan, although Kuro's got him pretty low here. They will be able to kill him off without too much difficulty, though. Okay. Snowball was no match for my yeah, that was one of those fights where you kind of really needed to win that one on Mud Golems. I mean, you had all your heroes there. It was just a bad usage of their spells, I feel like. And Nigma, even Miracle, he doesn't, he doesn't have Mantis, but yeah, but he's like, wait, hold on. Anti Mage just used Chrono, and he didn't kill any of my cores. It was like the perfect. Sorry, Void used Chrono, he didn't kill any of my cores. Like, time to go in. 
Let's go. Let's <laughs> let's take this fight. Four versus five. I don't mind. Uh, no man, time no problem. Okay, okay. Mind control doesn't pop the dust there. Got to be tempted to. Seeds of water. We want our feet coming down onto the Zeus guy and onto the Akuro as well. Very nice. He's going to be at the 40s. He's going to jump in and get fired up and beaten down. Oh no. The face is void. Falls once again. Supreme desperately trying to kill Wayne. Milan's going to come in. Finish the job. We'll give his life for this one though. And it's going to be a two for three trade in the end for the team Enigma. Once more, they make a very, very profitable trade. Taking down both the big cores on the side of Mud Golems and losing their Zeus and their CM. We're like, oh, no. middle tower I mean, it, it was a nice pick from the Magnus, but Unfortunately, his team just wasn't there to really follow up on that one, and they end up making a very awkward trade. Structures are fortified. It's a Tusk didn't just Radiant's go in there for the suicide kill onto the Zeus. That would have looked really, really bad. They at least managed to get the Zeus up, but losing your position one and Radiant's two. Middle tower has and fallen. this Void's farm has pretty much just halted right there. He's been at that net worth for like, what, a couple of minutes now? And the anti has really overtaken him. It's Manta, it's Manta time. He's going for a Halberd possibly next on Anti-Mage 2. Like, this is where Miracle is going to kick in. Uh, the time where Mud Golems were stronger than Nigma, they did not get enough out of the map. Troll. Trying to jump in with a spear there. Doesn't quite land it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And Mike Joe's been having an absolute stonker of a game on this Mars, by the way. Like, he was the one who made that Chrono Spear extra awful by landing that spear the moment the Void jumps in. He gets speared yeah. up. His chrono is just completely useless in that earlier yeah. engagement. Radiant exactly. Battle. I mean, that attack. chrono should have never came out there. That's that's pretty much the base. Like, the moment it came out, I'm like, oh no, this is not gonna look good for Muggles. And on top of that, he Radiant actually did use a time walk in, right? Like, when you play Void, you need to time walk in when you're getting the hero who can actually kill you as well, or do a lot of damage to you. Radiant's but he didn't do it. That's where the Mars attack. and the Zeus come in and just kind of destroyed him. Golem's kind of just chilling on the top side of the map. Seems like they were considering Roshan, and Nygma certainly thought they were up to something because they scanned the Roshan, but it doesn't come up red, so they know Shadows nothing's going on, but they are smoking themselves across. Radiant the shadow comes out from the side of Mud Golems as well. They're gonna pop Miracle Smoke. Oh. He's gonna jump himself Link away. Out. Thunder God's gonna give them that vision, and they will know exactly where these enemy heroes are. That was a pretty good call on uh, Nima to. Uh, sorry, Miracle to just get out of there, even though he was thinking about doing something. If he got yielded up by the Marana, then arrowed, it could have been interesting. Magalum to just commit to that fight. If they can somehow catch Miracle first, that's really good for them. Yeah, that's that huge bet. Hero. Catch him. And the player as well, right? He's one of the most elusive carries. Yes, quite a uh, quite a slippery fellow. Precious little scamp, this miracle fellow. So right now it does feel like Mud Golems have kind of hit a wall, you know, they have their ultimates up and they're not going for a play. That's when you know things are looking pretty bad Radiant's for a team. If they've got RP attack. and Chrono up and they're still not really comfortable enough to go to make some engagements happen, then well, you know there's been problems, and that's because the last player they made it got scouted out and now Miracle's pushing bottom and they're a little bit slow Radiant's to respond with the aggression on top and fallen. yeah, this the team's just really kind of not very much at the moment. Uh oh, they managed to catch out Fada. Fada trying to get herself away, does have herself a lead, not gonna throw it down though, just kind of accepts her fate instead. Well, they lose one. Nigma rotate everybody up to the top lane. Kind of something. Oh, up from uh, the side of Mud Golems. This is interesting. They're trying to fight without their Marana. Nigma also smoking into them currently. They see Miracle farming. If they can blow him up quickly enough, this might not be bad. The Chrono Spear gets dropped down, but Milan is inside it. He did get off the tag team in time. Skidder with the BKB just trying to bring him down. RP onto three. That is pretty damn tasty. Can they finish the job though? They're trying to fight through the Supreme so low. He's going to lose his life. Skidder has to back himself away despite the RP coming out, and it was pretty damn good. It's still not enough to turn the tables onto Nick, but they do bring down the anti mate though. Sun got Ralph going to finish off 33. Meanwhile, that punch up the Crystal Maiden and get the return kill on Mud Golems onto that CM. We just going up to the high ground, mind control running the other way. Who do they want? They want to try and go for this Zeus, but this Zeus is pretty damn speedy with these boots of travel. I don't think they've got the movement to get on top of him and bring him down. Arrow not gonna land here. We will escape, but they are still going. They're using the Moonlight Shadow to try and 
run this guy down so all fast. the way across the map. <laughs> so oh, he's going to run into them. No. Oh, no, he's run into everybody. <laughs> Weeha takes the wrong turning, and he's going to get finished off by Mud Golems. All right. They oh, find wow. themselves a fight. They managed to actually do it. I mean, it took a decent <laughs> well, Chrono onto the AM. Just dropping a Chrono onto the AM. It wasn't decent. It was just an AM. But then the amazing RP to follow up as well. But they do manage to take a fight. Yeah, that's what we were looking at, right? Like, they got to get the start of the fight onto Miracle. So even if he does get the Manta off, he's only going to be low HP. He has a blink out. Then they can just take the fight five versus four. But that was a perfect Magnus RP right after the Chrono. You could have had a better play there coming from Supreme. Roche being attempted. Ooh, Jesus is going to run straight into the pit. Miracle going to join him as well. The Mana Boy doing so much damage. They're going to get a couple of heroes inside this snowball just to try and get them out. And by a couple, I mean pretty much everybody. And now they jump on top of DH, but they fleet themselves out of the pit. Nick now coming into the engagement, looking for some kills. Mind control. They're going to have to control them up here. And Fada's going to do exactly that with the yields and stop them jumping forward and getting off that arena. But I feel like Milan's days on this earth may well be numbered. He's going to go for the snowball across onto the creep. That's going to get him not out of danger, unfortunately. It's still going to get finished off here. Chronosphere still not available for another 45 seconds. So Enigma will just be able to continue the pressure up here in the We're top have an lane. Maybe yeah. We'll have an RPC. Yeah. We'll have an RPC. Really good call from Enigma, though. They're like, guys, Chrono's down. Mag RP's down. What are we afraid of? Even if there's five heroes in the pit. So GH just goes in like a madman, anti-mage blinks in, burns the mana, gets a massive mana void. Radiance top uh, tower. I mean, this team top. just really understands like what spells are available and oh, if he's able to die or not. Yeah. I think turn to Zeus, but Zeus had the illusion rune to dodge the uh, the Jules arrow combo. Top. But oh, he's, like get he's in five version. He's nearly finished it. They need to do something about this. But unfortunately, Mad Golems are just not in the neighborhood. They didn't really have an idea of going for the yeah, yeah. Puffs being dead. He did buy back in the last fight. Ella. Supreme in some trouble up here in the top lane. Blink across to the tree line. I like his play and it is going to pay off. Ooh, that was close. He under blinked there deliberately to try and dodge the Zeus's lightning bolt, which the lightning bolt was a little bit late anyway, but still really nicely done from Super. Mind Control also got uh, Fada bottom with the arena. Caught him out. That was happening. Alrighty, well, the difference between these carries is, is about 3k currently. Oh, oh, yeah. Has that back <laughs> oh. Okay, Milan making some uh, unfortunate mistakes. Radiant's top tower is under attack. So it looks like Miracle went for just a casual Sanj, get that little bit of extra HP. And now just going for the Abyssal Blade. He needs that Abyssal against the Faces Void. And what Skidder's gonna look to do is get that Butterfly before that Abyssal comes up. Because if he can get that Butterfly, even if AM goes Radiant's on top of him, he might be able to dodge attack. enough hits and still have enough mana to drop the Chrono right afterwards. Yeah. Time walk off the initial damage as well. Could be really nice. So, yeah, Skidder doing everything he can to just survive in the vacuum against the Anti-Mage. Meanwhile, this Magnus, he's going for the BKB next. Still feeling pretty full poor for a mid Magnus, but that's kind of made up by the fact that 33 has himself an AC. He's so, gigantic on 33. Pretty hard. Oh, Miracle. <laughs> Get down, Mr. President. Jumps on top of the arrow to save his support and actually able to turn this into a kill onto Fada here, it looks like. The Nimbus will finish the job. Fada's going to go down. A very nice little play from Nigma. And now, well, they're looking in towards the mag, but uh, this might not be going the way they thought, but they're going to drop down the BKB in the arena on the mark, so they're going to come through. He's got himself a Chronosphere if he wants to use it, but the RP comes on to the AM. Skidder just can't Skitter. make his mind on what he wants to do. He wants the Chrono here. Oh he's just my faking goodness. it through the entire engagement. His indecision means no Chrono today. The Mag dies for nothing and drops the RP and gets nothing for it. Did you want to see a Chrono oh, there? I don't think... I think he just needs to hit the Anti-Mage. He doesn't need to cast the Chrono. He already popped the BKB. He's got like 9 seconds or 8 seconds. Just hit the AM, right? He, want, he was thinking about dropping the Chrono, but he knows that Anti-Mage has an Aegis. If he drops the Chrono, then when the AM's alive, they're just going to go straight into the High God. So he didn't want to drop the Chrono. Yeah. But you can still man up. You have plenty of damage with the items that you have. Uh, maybe you could have just tried to kill the AM off without popping the Chrono, and next time you can try to Chrono him. Yeah, very indecisive in that moment. I think he's feeling very pressured in this game with how things are going to no, I'm going to drop it. No, I'm not. And now we have Milan dying in the middle lane. Unfortunately, he's having some problems with this Nimbus. Self killed off. Still not 
astronomical lead from the side of Negma. 7k gold advantage. Most of that is on their AM. As they see him though. Oh. Marana. Yeah. Marana. Peace out. What a bounty! I don't know. They're Radiant's not really following up. They have got an Imbus in 14 seconds. So yeah, Fala should be okay. I'm, I'm going to say she's fine. Has fallen. I'm fine like you guys though. Ah! Uh, the dust. Oh! Oh no! She's mine. The <laughs> connect. Oh geez, she's been thrown around like a ragdoll. This is brutal. It's like lions <laughs> playing with a cub. Ouch. Well, there we go. Fast around. Butterfly uh -oh. is completely. This is laid out her. onto Supreme in the middle lane. He's just gonna get completely eliminated by Weeha and Miracle. <laughs> completely destroyed on this Magnus. Dares to show himself. And that's the Abyssal Blade debuted by Miracle. Really rough. I uh, hear from Magnus, Mr. Supreme. This is looking more and more like a off lane Magnus at the moment. Just 10k gold, 30 minutes in, yeah. I mean, normally you would like to see your mid mag just being gigantic, right? Because he's constantly farming Ancients early on in the game. Uh -oh. But we didn't really see him focus on that. Oh, Milan. Sweet little Milan. He's going to hit Silas up and forward down once again. The Nimbus comes down on top of him and Miracle's going to claim another kill. Just, just wanted some creep. Just wanted to do something for this creep wave, but fortunately, Nigma say no. And they get the kill on Flat Tusk, and this might even be an invitation for them to go high ground. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. There you go. Miracle with this double damage, with this Abyssal Blade, with his Aegis for another 13 seconds. They are feeling more than confident. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Two heroes dead. Radiant's Completely outnumbered on the side of Mudgones. They're gonna let this Rax fall. Radiant's middle barrier. Alright, dodge. Oh, what do you yeah. Oh, okay, Aegis is running out, up he comes down into two, that's not bad, now can they follow up? The arena comes down, but Skinner's on top of them with the Chrono Spear, do they have the damage to get through this anti-mage? I think they bloody well do, he's gone, but they can trade Supreme for it, but Kuro and Miracle will both fall, Nygma now just needs to leave, they have lost their big carry player, can they get any more is a question on the side of Mud Golems, and the answer seems to be so far no, but the yours comes down onto the uh, Spirit, Min, Mind Control, threatening with the Spear, just chasing them back a little bit, the uh, Snowball is not not gonna connect as Milan just running forward. They will wait. They want the big target. They get on top of him. They rinse him. And now GH rolls into the engagement. Pops the magnetize. Just trying to get one return kill onto Milan, but that's not gonna happen. Now they move across, looking for mind control as well as he's on the run. He's got a blink dagger available in one second. They get the urn on top of him. Nicely done from Milan. Snowball coming through as well. He's got that BKB though. This could be Milan in some trouble. Can they bash? get the bash skin? Oh! oh, first hit, got bash it. baby. There it Dying is. Get him. And now, well, this man, this Mars unfortunately Dying is a very very, 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 very dead. Mind Control is going to lose his life and a big old punch to the face to finish the job from Milan. And that is going to be a full five-man team wipe. Even though the Crystal Maiden has respawned by now, I can promise you it was indeed a full five-man team wipe. Uh, Crystal Maiden with a Crimson Guard, which I've only just noticed, by the way. But let's talk about yeah. the last fight for a minute, because how did they... Uh, well, we know how they do it, but I want to hear it from you. I, I just I just want to ask you for a Crow might be just dead here. Oh, yeah, he's super dead. Nothing. One more, tanky, one more limbs and guns. He's pretty uh, tanky. There's a sprout. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, did you notice Dyer's how Miracle was about to blink out and he canceled and he just stood Dyer's there for a second and awful. let himself get yield? Right? Like, that's yeah. how it all started. I, I don't know why Miracle did that. I don't know if he was being cocky or something, but like, he, if he just blinked out, none of that would have occurred, right? They would have got a free racks, they would have backed off, they would have just reset, but Dyer's instead, he got himself yield, RP came, screwed into the tower, Chrono came, I think Skitter Dyer's even messed up his like time walk a little fallen. bit, but they, they just had enough damage, right? You got the Solar Crest on the NP to throw it onto the Void, Void has a butterfly, he does an insane amount of damage, and once AM is dead, like, it's not strong anymore. Is that point in the game where anti mage is pretty much everything for so, yeah, he cannot afford to be the first one caught out and he cannot afford to be die actually. Like, if it's, it's okay if they go on one of his teammates and he finds the angle to jump someone in the back line, but they cannot, they, Nigma cannot allow Miracle to be the first one jump. Radiant are scanning. That's really weird. I don't know why he stopped there. Like, he really, literally just froze for like a second. Like, he canceled his blink animation and he just stood there. <laughs> 
Who knows? Thunder Gods comes down and Mind Control jumps forwards, but immediately they're gonna swarm on top of Milan, who blinks into this engagement. He's gonna lose his life. GH trying to cause some problems in the backline. Supreme pops a BKB, tries to bring down the Earth, but it won't be able to do so. And now, well, it's looking a little bit awkward for the side of Mud Golems. They need to get themselves away from this one because they're currently outnumbered. They're gonna jump in, drop the Chrono Spear onto the Illusion. They get oh, completely damn. baited. Skits are no. They get the Crystal made. Oh, the first hit bash. Or maybe the. No, it's actually just the bash. And they're gonna have a tail to take down Skits. So what a goddamn bait from the anti mage using the manta illusion <laughs> in style to bait out the chrono spear. I mean, that the could just be. No, nah, it's not game just yet. They still got another chance, Mud Golems, but man, that is so that. brutal. Yeah, they're hunting 33 right now, and the lanes are getting pushed out too. Oh, rip 33. Is he? No, they don't have anything to stop him. Okay. It's all right. Right. That was on cooldown as BKB. So that last fight, the first point of contact was mind control, right? Radiance so they weren't able to get onto attack. Miracle. Uh, Milan Radiance blinked past mind control to go to Miracle, <laughs> but he just got blown up right away with the help of the Zeus and the anti mage. <laughs> Next time, Mud Golems, like, they gotta find the right Radiance angle to catch Miracle. Killed. And if they see mind my, my control, they might have to just ignore him first. So even though they've got RP, um, I think we're going to be able to take this road for free because they just cancelled his TP out in the bottom lane. Supreme just tried to push the wave, went into the trees to TP away, and then uh, they sniped him with the Nimbus, so he can't actually come and do anything about this Roche. So Nygma are going to be able to take it for free. Not that they would have been able to contest anyway with this Void. They need the Void. Damage. Stunlocks. Miracle with an Aegis. This is exactly what he needed. Radiance middle Do you feel like they could have just played the top and the mid side of the map and just waited for Aegis on the side of Mud Golems? So taking that away from Miracle seems like the best thing that Mud Golems could game instead of actually trying to make a play. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if Nygma would have just come at them though the moment that Roshan was up anyway. Like maybe Mud Golems didn't have but that's to, good. to win a Roche fight without the Chrono. If Nima come at you, then that way you have a chance to kill the anti-mage, right? He won't be just split yeah. pushing, alright? Yeah, maybe it was a little bit ambitious to go into the enemy triangle and try and force the play too hard. So that didn't work out for them, but they're actually we? going for the two-man support Arrow? gank at the bottom lane. This might be successful. We oh, have damage coming down onto him. Can they boost the jump? Yes, they can. Oh, man. Fatter and Milan, the two-man support play. I don't really care if they die here. This is, this is feeling good. Milan. He's going to run into the enemy fountain of the safety. Unfortunately, it takes no mercy. They will get the two return kills. Meanwhile, yeah, Kuro is probably in some trouble here. The little crystal maiden trying to run herself away. Come on, pop the Crimson Guard. Yeah, turn around, Kuro. <laughs> <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> crystal maiden. That's crazy. Too crimson chunky. Guard. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, you would think that hero is just dead if a position 2 mag and a position 1 void is on top of you, but... That Crimson actually managed to keep him alive. And Supreme now! Maybe TP away, but is there an anti-mage coming in? He's making his way over, but he doesn't have the blink, so there won't be an abyssal blade today. Still, their BKB used. So, 30 seconds more. This is on the Mud Golems. This is just buying time for the Aegis. Like you said, it was a really Double worth kill. Damage. Two supports for the Zeus. Forced Nigma all the way back to their side of the map, and Aegis... Time is gonna wait. Only three minutes left now. I want to say the later this game goes, I think Mud Golem's a little bit favored. Uh, Anti Mage is soon to be six slotted, and then after that, he can't really get anything more, right? So, and Void has a lot of room to grow. Thirty three just picked it up, picked up a nullifier. That's a pretty big item too. Why is I guess it's Zeus. Uh, for the Abyssal Blade? Because he, he thinks the first... The way that he's gonna lose the fight or not be able to... Battle is if he gets all his mana burned, right? Anti-Mage has to find him first. Yeah, and I guess if the Zeus is close enough to uh, cancel the Lincolns, then he's close enough to get thrown. Right. I don't hate it. It does feel like a big investment for something quite minor, but uh, look, we'll see if it works out in the next engagement. Maybe a Scotty could have been interesting as well, but I think the Lincoln's all right. It's, it's, it just feels awkward because it's kind of like a medium item and we're like in a pretty super late game situation at the moment. Yeah. 
I'm buying Scardi into a team without any heals, but it never feels like that. Radiant value. structures are fortified. Meanwhile, Nigma gonna start knocking Radiant on the high ground, going for this tier attack. three. Miracle just chomping away at it. He's got himself a solar crest, he's got himself an Aegis, he's got himself a Scardi and a leveler, so these buildings are gonna fall very quickly top. unless Mud Golems can do something Radiant about it. They do not want to chrono this anti mage. He has an Aegis, they want to try and find someone on the back line. Right now, Miracle's really just getting away with smashing away at these barracks. Night Shadow comes out. They go for the wraparound. Can they go for the wraparound? I don't think they can. I think they just can't lose their barracks. They're gonna have a watch miracle taking their building. And there's nothing they can do about it. Regeneration. Oh, that's gonna feel bad. I feel they could have done something like screwing the anti mage into the tower, into like a punch or something, try to force Nigma's backline to go in and try to help Miracle out, even though he has an Aegis. And then you kind of chrono the backline. But like a smoke, but Mud Golems just decide to give it up all together and just fight for the last racks instead. I imagine that's what like wire. OG or something would have done, you know? Yeah. They would have they would have tried to defend that rack. They would have taken any opportunities, like think of something creative. Get the right team fight. But Mud Golems is playing it very safe Radiant for sure right now. Scanning. It's gonna be done though, the Roshan, or sorry, the Aegis, 20 seconds. Oh, hold on, Mud Golem's looking for an engagement, the smoke's gonna get popped, Milan just wants to blink himself away. He's not really interested in this, and GH is gonna run into everybody, reveal all these smokes, the Thunder Gods comes down, uh-oh, they're scared now, Mud Golem's trying to run away, they didn't want to be seen doing this, and it looks like Magnus is probably gonna get picked off unless he pops the BKB and runs himself out, they actually drop the Nullified down onto the Earth for it, trying to bring him down, they will be able to kill off GH at the very least, but Mud Golem's gonna pop two BKBs for this one. Meanwhile, Nigma uh, actually backing themselves away. They're not really going for this. They're very hard as once again the illusion bait works out pretty well. Baiting out the snowball. Kira is going to get caught by a little uh, ice shot. But everything is considered. Mud Golems are doing better out of this than I thought they would. I had to buy back on Fata. With these ultimates, Nigma are showing them a lot of respect. They gotta go back. The top wave is pushing in. I mean, NP can do it, but I think Nigma have an opportunity to smoke and go top and it catch 33 while he tries to defend. Ace. Watch. Here we go. Five seconds. See it. <laughs> 33, your days are numbered. Everybody Three. channel your telekinetic energy to Two. 33. Tell him to get One. out of here. He doesn't realize the danger he's in. Oh no, 33 gets dropped like a rock. You, you just can't see the plays like that coming, unfortunately. Blimey. Well, well predicted, but unfortunately that is your nature's profit going down for a rather long time. However, the Aegis has now gone on, on the Miracle, so... Honestly, the down, play... Real. The play there, like when they walk into the high gun, if they somehow understood like how Nigma think and the moves like they like to do, they could have baited that NP there. That would have been big time. <laughs> if when he gets jumped by the anti mage, you drop a Chrono on top and you just try to kill him out. Could have been pretty sick as the Abyssal Blade comes down onto this Marana. She's got in the some trouble, but they're gonna be able to turn around with the beat with the uh yeah, Chrono damage. Skin is doing nothing. Right. RP comes through though onto the two. Surely they can get Still no damage. They don't seem to have enough to rip through this anti mage's defenses. They move across towards Kuro. That's a slightly easier target, but she's still pretty damn tanky. The will she needs to job. And now Skinner starting to lose HP. Time walk across though. Onto Miracle. He's gonna pop the cheese though. Try and turn it around onto the face of Spoy, but Miracle's not exactly taking heroes down at any kind of rate either. Supreme is gonna be the victim. He's gonna get popped. Has himself a buy back if they want to keep this fight going but it doesn't look like they do my golems retreat to their high ground and they're gonna try and play it out unfortunately they don't have their ultimates now so nigma are gonna feel very very inclined Radiant's to come up this high ground and start bashing away at this tier three tower and this is their final lane of barracks mud golems do not have any more options Radiant's left they have to make this defense happen magnus is gonna buy back right now nigma are they gonna respect it or are they gonna keep on fighting well, they're gonna see what happens. A Bustle Blade across onto the Nature's Prophet. 33 in some trouble, dropping down the mana board and pops him. 33 to get himself away. He's not gonna be able to do so with the Spirit Vest on top of him. Miracle will finish the job. He's going pretty deep for this one, but does he really care? It's gonna be the BKB. He gets on top of Miracle. Miracle just taking chunks out of the Magnus and in comes the Arena from Mind Control. He's pretty low. Does he care? He's gonna control up and board down. He is gone. Everybody dead on the side of Mud Golems, except for Fata who now gets beaten out of the fountain. And that is gonna be everybody dead on their team. Nigma, they take game number one. They did fight admirably on Mud. Golem's got to be said, it was a good performance.